who just sit in the middle lane and, and, and just, you know, blindly drive down the middle of the motorway without even thinking about who else is on the road. I think people are oblivious to what's behind them, in most cases. Paul hogging the middle lane, um, that drives me to wall. I detest people driving middle lane. It's what motorists complain about most of all, lane hogging. We've all seen them, haven't we? Cruising up the motorway at a steady 50 miles an hour in the middle lane with the inside lane completely clear. And there they sit, completely oblivious to the fact that behind them there's a long line of motorists tearing their hair out trying to get past. Well, lane hoggers are a major source of danger, delay and frustration on our motorways. The question is, are you one of them? When you look in that rear view mirror, do you see a long line of traffic behind you? How many of us can put hand on heart and say we've never been guilty of lane hogging? I tend to be a middle lane driver, if I'm honest with you, yes. Uh, yeah, I've been guilty of uh, just cruising in the middle lane, yeah, 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 quite, a, quite regular, actually, yeah. I don't think you know you're doing it half the time. If there's a, a nice empty vacancy where I can continue on in the middle lane, then I will do. Justin, why do you think that people lane hog? I think they're unaware that lane one is there to be used. They think they feel safer in lane two, um, causes people to undertake, which is a very dangerous manoeuvre. Yeah. Um, then they swerve out to pull into lane two, lane three, and go back in, and it causes a domino effect for people you know, coming in lane three. They don't think what they're doing and what they're going to cause. Mm. You know, they're not thinking ahead of themselves. Well, look at these guys here, three, four, five of them, all in the middle lane, with the inside lane, lane one, absolutely clear. Is there a particular category of driver that does this kind of thing? It's mainly uh, the older type driver and the new learners, the past. Um, they're unaware of what they're doing, um, and they just it becomes habit to them because they've either been not taught it correctly or they've always done it. Not everyone realises that the inside lane is the running lane and that you should only use the outside lanes for overtaking. The problem goes back to when motorways were first introduced nearly 50 years ago. Then, most heavy lorries couldn't keep up cruising speeds much above 40 miles an hour. And there was a significant number of virgin motorway drivers who didn't feel comfortable travelling any faster and were happy to share the slow lane with the lorries. The average driver in a family car took up a middle of the road position. The fast lane was reserved for the privileged few who had high powered cars that could travel faster than anyone else. You chose the lane that suited your style and the car you were driving. By hogging the outside lane or just by sitting in the middle lane, drivers are actually wasting hundreds of motorway miles. In peak periods, up to one third of the entire motorway network is lost in this way. That's 700 wasted motorway miles. And of course, less motorway means more congestion and more accidents caused by tailgating, which in turn stops the flow of traffic. So why do people do it? Is it laziness, is it ignorance, or is it just plain bloody mindedness? It's probably ignorance and, and laziness, a touch of both really, and it's a touch that they're traveling at a speed that they think suitable for the motorway and won't be moved. There was a fatal road traffic collision a couple of weeks ago where at two o'clock in the morning a vehicle was travelling in lane two on the M6, no other vehicles around, no reason for it to be there and uh, another vehicle that was either travelling too fast, didn't realise the speed of that vehicle, came along and hit the rear of it, spun it off the motorway and caused a fatality. So what should drivers do if they find themselves behind someone hogging the lane? Well, they shouldn't take the law into their own hands, that's for us to do. Um, what they should try and do is not put pressure on the driver in front, ease their speed off a little bit until they have an appropriate time to overtake and then overtake the vehicle and continue the journey. Learn to live with it. Absolutely, learn to live with it. It may surprise you to know that the highway code says you should always drive in the left-hand lane if the road ahead is clear. What's more, you should return to the left-hand lane once you've overtaken all the vehicles or if you are delaying the traffic behind you. It's up to each of us to take responsibility for our own driving to make sure we know where our car should be at any one time and remember that any sudden manoeuvre at speed is potentially dangerous. So the next time you find yourself at the head of a long line of traffic, make sure it's not you who's hogging the lane. If we all show a little more consideration for other drivers, we'll stay safe 
and we'll keep moving.